So alright, we're in the Make the Cut version 3.3, and in this tutorial we're going to show you how you can add uh, add text to the mat. Uh, in this version, he added some new features that uh, that I'd like to discuss. So, um, so one of the first things we'll probably have to talk about is uh, is this carrot right here, this little line. You can double click anywhere on the mat and your carrot should follow. Uh, you can increase and decrease your size of the carrot. Basically, the, the length of that carrot is going to be the height of the text that's coming out of uh, when we type. So you can you can increase and decrease right here. And of course after we put text on the mat you can always uh, change it as well. So let's go ahead and uh, add some text. So I'm going to go ahead and click the text and font under the main menu here. And you're going to select whatever font you would like uh, just by using this little drop down menu. Now you can see that uh, the different font types uh, font faces are being shown right here, and if you currently don't see that on yours, all you have to do is click the little check mark that says Show Face, and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to choose this font right here. Uh, I'm going to hit the Add at Group at Text Group button, and uh, right here I already have some text put out here. Uh, you can now do multi-line text, and we're just going to go from left to right here to see what's going on. Uh, right here is your justification. Um, it's mainly for multi-line text because if you don't have this bottom text line here uh, it really doesn't make a difference whether you use these features. So multi-line text you can see right now it's left justified and now we can go over here to uh, be center and then we can be right justified. Um, he added a preview you know so you can see what's on your mat which is, which is kinda nice. So we're, we're going to go ahead and leave it back to the left, ju left justified and the V space, vertical spacing. Uh, that is between multi lines. So between each line, you know, as you can see, I'm using the up up arrow and I'm using the down arrow. And the preview on the mat is showing you how that V space is affecting affecting the uh, the letters. So all right, that's fine. I'm just going to leave it at minus 12. Um, now splitting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to the, the area right here and as you can see I'm going to just use the drop down menu and I'm going to go ahead and split the lines and see what that does. Alright, splitting lines. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit accept and we'll, we'll check this out. I click on the top line and I can move the whole line at a time. Likewise, I can move the whole line from the second word, you know, just fine and it moves together as a group. So let's, let's see what split by spaces does. So every time that you have a space in your text, it will automatically split it. So basically you, what you're doing right here is you're splitting by word. So I'm going to go ahead and, ahead and hit escape. And as you can see, I can click the word and they, they move as a group. So that's what split by uh, space does. Um, now we can go ahead and split by glyph. Uh, glyph is like a little fancy term by, uh, you know, split by letter. So I'm going to go ahead and hit accept, and now you can see that, uh, you know, I can click individual letters. So um, that's that's basically it as far as the splitting goes. So let's go ahead and uh, all right, rotation. Now we can rotate, uh, rotate left, rotate right, and all it does is flip the letters. Uh, as you can see, it now says family vacation going long ways. So that's that's basically it. With uh, ro does this, does just the opposite for rotate right. So just rotates all those letters right. So so that's basically it. Uh, of course, you always have the reset button, and it just takes everything back to sort of like factory settings for the add text group. So uh, I hope you got something out of this. I'm Rob with ScrappyDo.com. Thank you. <laughs>